And actually, good etiquette, as suggested here at the timeline, would indicate that you should keep your personal stuff personal. However, if you choose to put it on the timeline, we will put it in front of television sets because that's what we do. We're here to share the things that happened on the timeline. Speaking of that, there's this nice uber juicy story that went viral from Kenya. This was the stuff movies are made of. This guy told this story of a soldier who entered his car and took him around Nairobi the entire night, swinging his gun and doing all sorts of it was crazy. In fact, you need to go to our Facebook page that's at the timeline 256. So our Twitter handle will be sharing it there so you can have the whole read. Now, of course, you have to realize that Uber has made itself parts and parcel of people's social life. From that nice juicy story from Nairobi to hashtag Uber Choma, where they bring you some meat, to a guy in France who is suing Uber for 48 million euros for a glitch that allegedly happened in the application that made his wife suspect that he was cheating. In fact, she did catch him. I am just wondering, you know, who can I sue? Me as me. Now, you know what they say, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And Pastor Kakande wants to take you straight to the heart of Jesus with his 50K rice. Holy rice, people. You just sprinkle it on your normal rice and bam, blessings come to you. Sunday, you'll be saying, man shall not live on bread alone, but every speck of rice that you buy for 50,000 shillings. Well done, Kakande. You're a good businessman. <laughs>